which is talk about movies. And we do love to talk about movies. Oh, we sure do love movies, don't we? Yeah. And you know who we are. I'm Lisa from Indianapolis, Indiana. And I'm Susan, level four for my task at Illinois. That's right. And we're here to talk about movies that ladies like. Yep. We're Lisa and Susan, and we're all about the ladies. Hello. Hello. Now, I enjoy everything. You might not know about that, that about me, but I do. Everything. I love it. And I, boy, I love to watch sports. Which is included in everything, so I also love to watch sports. But right now we're talking about movies that, that we ladies love. Like. Oh my gosh. Now here's something. Ladies don't often go see action flicks. Tell me about it's it. It's not often that we do, but here's a movie that we absolutely loved. Yeah, it's called Lady Cops Fight Back. Yeah. <laughs> So let's just take a sneak peek at Lady Cops Fight Back right now. Start the video. You think you can just walk in here and be bad? <laughs> That's right. I got a big gun and I got big hair and I'm all about big justice. All right. Well, I'm the evilest person that ever existed. You think you can take me down, Lady Cop? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna take you downtown. I'm gonna book you, I'm gonna send you to Sing Sing. Wow, you are sassy. Oh yeah, sassy and you are not classy. How could you hurt all those innocent puppies? I don't know. I don't know, no one's ever asked me that before, I guess. Gosh, I guess because you're a woman. You have female intuitions. You must. Ah, help me out, I almost fell down that cliff. I know. In your secret letter. And that's, that's the moment when I decided to become a better person. That's right. I could have let you drop. Way to turn it around, evil lady. It didn't even seem like an action flick to me, quite honestly. It, it felt more like a beautiful drama, and maybe yeah. that's why we were so in tune with it. So pulled inside it. My favorite part is that the lady cop was sassy and classy and carried around a boombox on her shoulder wherever she went. Oh, <laughs> so sassy. Our next flick that we're going to be talking about, our friend Barbara, who's a level two, would love this uh, movie. I love it, too, because I love everything. Uh, yeah, and Barbara, who loves wedding planning. Which oh, I love. Boy, did she, she ever love this. It was the romantic comedy to beat all romantic comedies that Called summer. Called Bridezilla versus Mothra. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it was hilarious and also very poignant and a very uh, different looking. Yeah, well we have well, Olympia Dukakis yep. as Mothra, mm -hmm. and we have Kathy Bates dressed up as Bridezilla. Oh, it was so, it's so good. Take a, take a sneak peek. Clash the Titans. Ah! I want to have the perfect dress for my wedding. Listen, I'm not letting you leave this cabin until you sew your perfect dress. Smash! Oh! What is, what is Godzilla going to do when he sees me with a broken, bruised leg? Look, ah! Mothra, when are you going to trust me? I want you to have the best wedding ever. You need to trust me. Look, Bridezilla, you've had 15 weddings that have ended in disaster. Yeah, you've had 15 whole cities that you've destroyed in disaster. Ah, I can't help myself. I was showing my love for Godzilla. Ah, you smell like stale closets. Look. That's where I, that's where I really locked in. I know, it reminded Such me of my mother-in-law smelling like closets all the time. Yeah, so descriptive and so accurate. A stale closet. It just, it, it locked me into that movie and locked that movie into this lady's heart. Uh, our next movie, a docudrama. Ooh. Ooh. Docudrama about scuba diving. Now that's something I've never done, but Michelle, a level four from Bemidji, Minnesota. Well, I've done it because I've do done it. everything. Lisa has, she really has done everything. If you really held her feet to the fire, every, she's absolutely. I've even it. had my feet held to the fire. <laughs> Which, that, and I love it. Yes. So, uh, our friend Michelle would absolutely love this docudrama about scuba diving. Yeah. So, take it's a look. Not Without My Diver. <laughs> take a look. <laughs> you can't make me go. You can't make me go down there and film just water. I'm gonna take these weights and put them on your ankles and toss you down there. But I won't film. You'll film with your eyelids and your eyeballs. 
That's right, when you were sleeping, I put a camera inside your brain. You did what? Yes, right now I'm filming every single thing that's going on right now. What did you do with Samantha? See, that was the time when I decided to take it to the next level, because there's nothing that says amazing extremity like cameras inside your eye sockets. Look, you need to get in this documentary or you need to get off my project. Do you want to be an artist or do you want to be someone who's holding a camera doing something awful? I want to be an artist, but I want to do it with Samantha. She's the only person I've ever filmed diving. All right, we'll get Samantha in here. Samantha, get on this boat. I was swimming. I know, Samantha. It's up to you. It was what? gripping. The whole, oh, I found the whole, the whole thing to be so gripping. I we, thought it was amazing that he put a camera in that lady's head. Yeah, that's where technology is going nowadays. And it's amazing because that really happened because that was a documentary. It was. It was a real docudrama. Now, our last film that we're reviewing today is yep. totally out of the realm of necessarily where we normally go. Not a normal was, lady film. No, but it was a musical. An, an old school musical made today to look like new school. And this, it's a new our, school. our friend Kelly, who's also a lady, I think, uh, Kelly, who's a lady and she's level three from Pulley Up, Washington. Mm -hmm. uh, Pulley Up. <laughs> Pulley Up. It's right next to Chin Up. Hobbies. Kelly, Kelly loves. Then sit up county. Kelly loves all things moving. She likes walking and hiking and yard work. Exercises. Yeah. Like I was just saying. So this movie, which she would love, <laughs> it was called Walking, Hiking, Yard Work. And uh, it's a musical. Yeah. It's about trying to get these three events into the next Olympics. <laughs> walking, hiking, and yard work. Here's a little taste. Rake, 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 rake. You gotta be kidding me, kid. That garden isn't gonna make it to Broadway. What, but can't you see all the talent, all the promise, all the hope it could bring to the young children? Gardening and walking and hiking have no place in Broadway today. If you think you're gonna go somewhere with that crazy hoe, let me tell you something, and you had better believe it. You better get to the Olympics. What do you think of that? Well, I'll take it and I'll settle. I'm gonna win the first yard work gold medal. Let's garden and walk and hike garden. to the Olympics. Let's garden and, and walk and hike to the Olympics. Let's Why, hello and there. And hike to the Olympics. Yeah. Oh, My Lisa. favorite part about that movie is when you and I took over the end of the song. I mean, yeah. Lisa, when we see a movie, we embody the movie. We, we just, become it. We become. Uh, a lady film. Yeah, we are. Wait a minute. Are we a lady film? Is this reality or are we actually a film? I don't know. I don't know. But join us next time for Lisa and Susan's Ladies Movie. Movie!